Gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the fifth episode of Drawy, which I shall now call Draw View. Draw View. It's basically a combination of draw and review. Am I cool yet? Am I part of the group? That's the end thing now, right? To combine words. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about an original Cartoon Network miniseries called Long Live the Worlds. Hopefully you guys have catched it on Cartoon Network, that's where I first noticed it and watched it. And it's quite a good show. So with every good show you have to talk about the characters because that's who you're gonna fall and they're the ones who make the stories, obviously. The side characters are quite awesome. We have Frederick, the butler. He's very monotone, he has that dry sense of humor. He also respects the kids a lot. He seems like a very stand-up, straight character. Then we have Elster, the wizard who does the black magic, and in quite a lot of the episode, he helps out the kids and gets them out of tricky situations. King Rufus, who's the fat king, he's also a goofball, and he has a nice contrast in his lady love, Queen Eleanor. So they balance each other out because they're quite opposite, and of course, opposites attract. Now onto the leads, which of course are the kids. We have Peter, I believe he is the second oldest, he's usually the quiet, shy, reserved one. We have Alex, which is the youngest, can be a bit of a brat and he's the hyperactive young one. Then we have Rosaline, who is the oldest and she's into like rock and punk rock and she's kind of like the Red Bull in that she dates a commoner, but the family is okay with that, even though it's not as common, which is mentioned in one of the episodes where she goes to the boyfriend's rock concert. So these are the characters where the stories revolve around. In the pilot episode, the story is Peter's because he tries to impress this girl and at the end he doesn't end up impressing her. That happens and plus the girl actually isn't that bright anyway, so it's not really that much of a loss. The first episode is also a Peter episode in that he has to make friends in order to do an event for the hair festival and at the end of the series he makes a friend with one of the mud people and luckily she's a lot more intelligent than the first girl he tried to impress. Second episode is Rosaline's episode. That's the one where she sneaks out to watch her boyfriend's band play and at the end of the episode they unfortunately break up but she like reconnects with her father even though she gets grounded but it's, it's a nice connection between the father and the daughter that they party and they dance together and it's very cute and very sweet. The third episode focuses on the entire family but mostly on Queen Eleanor. She's like the person who brings the story forward, who makes it happen because the conflict in the story is that she snores and she doesn't want to admit to snoring. Of course, it causes tension within the family because they can't sleep and they can't speak about her snoring. Even the serpents can't speak about us knowing because they get fired and of course they rebel at the end and everything's sorted because he admits to it. And another conflict that adds to that episode is that they're entertaining a guest that they had a foreign after with and they're trying to make peace between the countries and of course at the end everything works out for the best. The fourth and final episode is Alex's episode, The Royal Hair Hunt, and Alex wants to hunt this gigantic rabbit because he wants to prove that he's a man and at the end we find out that the gigantic rabbit is just like a big fuzzball and he's very gentle like all rabbits are and he's not scary at all and Alex goes through like a development where he learns that being a man doesn't mean you have to conquer things and compromising is sometimes a lot better and what's nice about this episode is that we see elements from the previous episodes like the mud person I think the big huge rabbit that Peter uses to scare the bullies that bullied the mud ladies house. The boyfriend also pitches up to try and get Rosalind back. So it's like a nice get together of the past elements that were in the previous episodes. And it also has a cliffhanger. And that cliffhanger is that the queen's brother was murdered by her because he used to speak about her snowing but at the end he appears and the king makes a joke about it as in to be continued where he breaks the fourth wall and speaks to the audience. And what's also nice is that at the beginning of each episode they say, from the pilot episode, they said what happened previously on Long Live the Worlds. Yeah, just like little shots of the characters reacting to something and sometimes a short link to the episode 
like pick an event in the first episode and that's mentioned again in the actual episode but other times it's not linked at all and just it kind of makes you think oh did i miss something but you didn't and it, like adds to the whole setup and to the whole humor of it what's really cool about this cartoon is the world and the design but let's speak about the world first the world is a combination of modern technology so they have cell phones laptops and don't think they have cars but anyway but the setting is in like king arthur's times so they still live in palaces they still dress in the old style of clothing they have servants peasants look like dirty peasants it is a combination of the two elements but the modern day element doesn't overstay their welcome and they still use magic and they have machines and it's just like a nice combination of the two the art style is very unique in that well for me personally as you can see the lines are not black instead they're like darker color to the inside coloring of the characters which i think is quite cool and it's also quite smart the details in the background are very good. Each episode begins with the theme song and we see olden day pictures of the royal family and like little proper artwork and then the proper artwork goes away and we see the royal family kind of just goofing around and you see the elements of the characters. You see Peter being the shy one, you see Alex being like the attention seeker, you see Rosaline not caring as much, you see the king and the queen kind of bored. So it's a nice contrast from the old art into the modern art because the old art is like old paintings and the new art is like cartoons so i thought that was a nice contrast overall it's a very good series i wish it carried on but i'm kind of glad it didn't because it may overstay its welcome and there's still so many stories you can tell but then that's up to you fans to write fan fiction so you guys can find a few episodes on youtube that's where i found my episodes to review them the characters are well defined they go through the different like growth spurts rosaline sees how her father just wants to protect her the king sees how it's better to let their children live and make mistakes but also to have responsibility and to keep to those responsibilities so anyway yeah along with the walls i hope they live forever Thanks guys so much for watching, if you like what you see, please, you know, subscribe, share, etc, etc. Have a good day and night, and hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Infinity. 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 Train.